Let's dive right in. Number 6. Precordial Catch Syndrome The chest pain that vanishes like a ghost. You're just sitting peacefully, scrolling through your phone or staring at the ceiling. When suddenly, bam, a sharp, burning pain stabs your chest like a lightning bolt from nowhere. It feels as if someone jabbed a red-hot needle straight into your ribs. It usually hits the left side, in one tiny, specific spot. You freeze. You try to breathe, but the pain tightens its grip. Your brain panics. Is this it? Am I having a heart attack? Then, just as quickly as it came, that it disappears. No warning, no goodbye. Like it never even happened. Welcome to precordial catch syndrome. That a mysterious little glitch in the human body that feels terrifying, but is completely harmless. It's surprisingly common, especially in teenagers and young adults, but it can strike at any age. Now here's the wild part, that no one really knows what causes it. Doctors guess it might be a tiny nerve in the chest lining getting pinched, or maybe a quick spasm in a chest wall muscle. But even the experts just shrug and say, we're not quite sure. There's no cure, because there's nothing to fix. The pain comes and goes, like a shadow. And the medical advice. You're fine. It'll pass. That's comforting, until it hits again. So yes, your body will randomly stab you in the chest, with no warning and no real reason. And science? Science has basically said, deal with it. Number 5. Globus sensation. The phantom lump that isn't there. You know that strange, nagging feeling like something stuck in your throat. Like a stubborn pill that just won't go down, no matter how many times you swallow. You try to clear your throat, but it's still there. Except it isn't. Welcome to globus sensation. Your throat's way of playing tricks on you. It feels so real, your brain goes into full alert. Is something blocking my airway? But doctors take a look and find nothing. No food. No object. Not even a hint of a problem. It's like your throat developed phantom limb syndrome for food that was never there to begin with. So what's going on? Well, science has a few guesses, and none of them are comforting. Sometimes, it's your stress. Your body literally tightening the muscles around your voice box, creating the illusion of a lump. Or maybe it's acid reflux, irritating your throat lining just enough to confuse your nerves. Even subtle neck tension can send false signals to your brain, making you feel like you're choking when you're not. And here's the most frustrating part. But there's no quick fix. Doctors can't remove what doesn't exist. If they think it's stress, they'll suggest breathing techniques or relaxation therapy. If it's reflux, maybe some antacids. But in most cases, this phantom lump just comes and goes as it pleases. Got a bizarre little glitch in your body's feedback system. So next time your throat decides to act like a drama queen, remember that you're not crazy. You're just experiencing one of the body's strangest and most annoying illusions. Number 4. The Funny Bone The worst joke your body ever told. You bump your elbow just right and wham. A weird jolt of electricity zips down your arm, straight into your pinky and ring finger. It's not exactly painful, but it's this awful, tingly zap that makes you want to fling your arm like you've been electrocuted. Everyone calls it the funny bone. But here's the punchline, that it's not a bone, and there's absolutely nothing funny about it. What you've actually hit is your ulnar nerve, that a delicate little wire that runs all the way from your neck to your hand. For most of its journey, it's protected, tucked behind muscles and bones like a VIP in a bulletproof limo. But when it reaches your elbow, it takes a detour through a narrow passage called the cubital tunnel, where it's basically naked, lying just under your skin with zero protection. It's like evolution thought. Dot, let's put this ultra-sensitive nerve in the most smashable part of the body and just see what happens. So when you bang that spot, that you're not just hitting bone, that you're crushing that poor nerve against hard surface, and it panics, firing off a cascade of confused signals to your brain. Your brain goes, is that pain? Is that tingling? Are we being electrocuted? And all you can do is stand there, shaking your arm like a lunatic, waiting for it to stop. Here's the kicker. There's no fix. You can't install elbow armor. There's no secret technique to avoid it forever. Your only real option. Be careful where you swing that elbow, and get ready to feel that cursed zap again and again. Because your body, for some reason, decided to leave one of your most sensitive nerves completely exposed, right where it'll get hit the most. Number 3. Handedness. The one-handed mystery science still can't solve. About 9 out of 10 people are right-handed. But here's the weird part. Nobody knows why. 
seriously, think about it. Why isn't it a clean 50-50 split? Why aren't we all born ambidextrous, masterfully writing with one hand and slicing cake with the other? Instead, we've got this lopsided glitch in the human code, and even the smartest scientists on Earth are still scratching their heads. Your brain chose your dominant hand before you even knew what hands were. Once it made that choice, that was it. No takebacks. You're locked in for life. Try writing your name right now with your non-dominant hand. Go ahead. I dare you. It feels like trying to perform brain surgery wearing oven mitts. Here's the twist. Even identical twins with the same DNA don't always share the same handedness. So clearly, it's not just genetics. Some scientists say it could be hormones swirling in the womb. Others think it's about how you were curled up as a fetus, or maybe your brain just flipped a really biased coin. Whatever the reason, no one knows for sure. There's no master switch. No clear cause. Just an unsolved mystery hiding in plain sight. Inside every handshake, every scribble, every high five. So next time someone calls you a lefty or a righty, just remember, it wasn't really your choice. Your brain picked a side, and science still doesn't know why. Number two, visual snow, when your brain won't stop glitching. Imagine waking up, and the world looks like a broken TV screen. Tiny flickering dots dance across everything, that your morning coffee, your reflection, the sky at sunset, that all of it coated in a storm of static. You blink, still there. You close your eyes, still snowing. This isn't a vision problem, your eyes. They're perfectly healthy. The glitch is in your brain. Doctors call it visual snow syndrome. And it's like your brain's visual processor has a constant signal jam that like someone left the interference on permanently and it doesn't stop with just the snow. Bright lights leave ghostly after images. Moving cars leave behind light trails like time itself is glitching. Normal lighting? It feels like you're staring straight into the sun. And here's the frustrating part. Doctors can diagnose it, but they can't cure it. No pill. No surgery. No off switch. Brain scans reveal your visual cortex, the part of your brain that processes what you see, that fires differently from everyone else's, but there's still no way to bring it back in line. Some people live like this for years without knowing it's not normal. They grow up thinking everyone sees static, until one day, they learn the truth. Most people see the world in perfect clarity, so the next time your Wi-Fi glitches out, that or your screen goes fuzzy for a second, just remember, some people's brains are permanently tuned to that static channel, and there's no remote control to change it. Number 1. Ear rumbling, thunder that lives inside your skull. Can you make thunder inside your own head? Not a headache. Not ringing. I mean actual, rumbling thunder, that like a storm rolling deep behind your eardrums, that a wind tunnel blowing softly through your skull, or a cat purring from the inside out. Try it. Close your eyes. Focus behind your ears. And if you hear it, that low, distant rumble, dot congratulations, you're basically a mutant. What you just did is contract a tiny, hidden muscle inside your ear, dot called the tensor tympani. It's like your body's personal sound technician. Usually, it works in the background, that automatically tightening your eardrum to protect it from loud noises, dot, or muting the echo when you chew, yawn, or speak. But you, you can flex it at will. It's like being able to wiggle your ears, dot except instead of looking funny that you sound like a thundercloud trapped in a cave. And here's the twist, that no one knows why. There's no evolutionary reason. You're not warding off predators with internal base drops. You're not echolocating like a bat. You just glitched, even weirder. Most people who can do it assume everyone can, not until they casually mention it at a party and get stares that like they just admitted they can smell Wi-Fi. Scientists understand the muscle. They can see it, map it, even measure its contractions, but why some brain's hand over manual control of it? Total mystery. There's nothing to cure, nothing to upgrade. You've just been gifted or cursed that with a built-in white noise machine that serves absolutely no purpose, except to remind you that, that your body is still full of odd, beautiful bugs. That is all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.